Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming, with your host, Magnus Tsunami. And for today's episode, Super Mario 64 Part 2. I hope you enjoy. So, we start off Mario's adventure where we last left off. If I recall correctly, the last Mario left off was he barely scraped by defeating King bob -omb. Let's see what Mario shall do this time around, and whether he'll be more successful this time, or struggle just as hard as he did last time. Entering the first room with the number one star that he sees, it activates and opens. Hmm, let's see where this will lead. It seems to be a painting of a giant castle. Now I wonder what this could be. First stage, Womp's Fortress. So, starting off in this gorgeous area, there seems to be a message telling Mario what he needs to do. Defeating the first piranha plant with relative ease, Mario is unstoppable. He's surveying his scene and walking around. There seem to be these flowers and coins scattered all over the place. Mario swiftly collects them and is surveying his scene. Punching wildly into the air, what is Mario trying to achieve here? Oh, he picks up a box and throws it. Hmm, what was the point of that? I really don't know. The piranha plant that he killed earlier seems to have respawned. Mario is trying to jump up on that hill, but fails. What was Mario trying to do there? Collecting more coins as he comes to an area where these bricks are moving back and forth out of the wall. Hmm, that seems to be a very difficult area for Mario. Will he fail here, or will he be able to get past the sliding platforms? Mario carefully walks past these sliding platforms. There seems to be this giant brick continuously pounding the ground. There seems to be an invisible green box, but Mario can't get to it. Walking up the slope and the stairs, there's another green, no, blue block that's whomping the floor. Mario avoids it like a pro. There's another piranha plant, it's asleep, so Mario tries to carefully walk up to it, but slides down the hill, carefully walking up the stairs as to not awake this piranha plant. Will Mario kill it like he did with the other one? No! Mario runs head on to it and it starts chomping wildly at Mario. Mario is not in a good shape right here. He has taken a lot of damage and he has aggravated that piranha plant. Mario runs furiously past it and collects the red coin, gaining some life back. But Mario again gets hit by the piranha plant and is down to one slither of life. One more mess up and Mario is dead. He collects another red coin and regains his health. Slowly crawling up to the second piranha plant, will he suffer the same fate? Yes, this piranha plant has killed him and Mario has plummeted to his death. Oh, what a terrible start here for Mario, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a good start for Mario at all. He's been absolutely pulverized by that piranha plant. So Mario does a somersault to start the level again. Mario decides to take a shortcut this time by jumping straight up onto that ledge. Well, that was clever. I don't know why he didn't do that last time, honestly. Walking up the slope with relative ease, Mario seems to be ignoring the piranha plant and goes right past it, jumping over it clearly. Collecting another red coin, he collected this last time. Will the same piranha plant defeat him? No, Mario jumps clear of it. Waiting for this moving platform, Mario moves into the middle, waiting for it to rotate around. Hmm, Mario must have a lot of patience waiting for this platform to come around. Walking up to a thwomp. I dare say, what is Mario doing? Why did he stop? He could have walked straight past him. The thwomp falls flat on the ground. Mario misses and finally absolutely smashing it to pieces. Mario running off to his next destination. Another thwomp pounds down to the ground and Mario smashes that one into pieces. There seems to be an elevator up ahead. What is Mario going to do here? Hmm, he seems to be jumping for uh, quite energetically to try and get to the elevator. He misses the first time but manages to get onto the elevator the second time. 
He has now come to a giant thwomp. Mario has now challenged this giant thwomp. Misses Mario, but Mario misses the thwomp. What's Mario supposed to do? I think Mario missed his opportunity to flatten that thwomp. But the thwomp has taken this opportunity and flattened Mario. Ooh, Mario's not doing so well. Already taken some health. Mario retaliates by absolutely pounding on the thwomp's back. Mario locked in a furious battle with this thwomp. Missing the second pound from the thwomp. Mario makes quick work of him by pounding on his back again. Mario almost flying off the platform. Mario carefully avoids the thwomp with the final pound to the thwomp, swiftly defeating it. Mario made quick work of this boss. If only he had those skills when he defeated King bob he would have done a much better job. But nonetheless, Mario has made quick work of this thwomp and celebrates by collecting the star. And now Mario is off to the next destination. Where will that be? We don't know. And Mario runs off into the distance, opening that door where he came from originally. Hmm, where is he going? Goes to this door, but there seems to be a number three written on that door. You can't enter there yet, Mario. You need another power star. Hmm, that door also has another three. So Mario backs up again, goes up the stairs, and that door seems to be locked, so we can't go in there yet. Aha! Mario has found another door with a number one. Opening that door, let's see where this leads, shall we? After a message comes up, Mario enters a closed room with pictures of Peach. Goes headfirst into the first one, jumping furiously into the second one, stops and manages to finally find the right one to jump into. Hmm, it seems Mario has been taken to a secret area. What is this secret area? Oh, it's a slide. Coins are scattered all over the slide and Mario is running, well not running, rather sliding quite fast through this race. There's a timer which is counting up and Mario is making quick work of this stage. Collecting coins like they're going out of fashion, Mario is sliding all over the place like a slug. He's not slowing down though, he's definitely no slug at beating this and he has now reached the end of that race course, getting a life up. Mario does a somersault, missing that box again. Mario slowly, slowly walks. Hmm, what is Mario doing? Is he showing off? Who knows? Very interesting moves from Mario, but he collects another power store, bringing his total to three. Celebrating with his victory. And now Mario has three stars. So now he's going to that first door, which has the number three on it. And that gains him access to more areas in the castle. Opening the door carefully, he goes into the next area. It seems this area is a snow stage as Mario long jumps straight into the portrait. Next stage, cool, cool mountain. As Mario sees a hut, he jumps straight onto the roof and straight down the chimney. Hmm. What is this house? That's a bit peculiar. As Mario runs off onto a snow slide. Hmm, two slow slide stages in a row. Mario slip sliding all over the place. He's collecting coins quite carefully, trying not to fall off the tracks. Moving back and forth with very close precision and collecting the coins as he slides along. Hmm, will Mario fall off or will he manage? Ooh. He's getting very close to the edge there, ladies and gentlemen, and he almost fell off. But Mario is carefully guiding himself along this slide. It looks very fun, but very dangerous. One sudden slip and Mario could fall to his doom. Is Mario near the end? Is there more? Ooh, there seems to be an ice bridge. And Mario has reached the finish line. He goes head first straight into a building. Uh, I think he's gained some concussion because Mario is walking around like he's lost and running into the wall again. Did you suffer head trauma there, Mario? Uh, somebody should call a paramedic. A star comes flying out of the door as Mario exits the building. There seems to be a penguin calling out, but Mario ignores it and collects the power star, bringing his total to four. And Mario celebrates the star that he's just collected. And that is it for today's episode. 
Thank you for watching. Magnus. Tsunami. Drop.